Hello, I have here Lego's Sailboat Adventures set. Now this was a gift with purchase that unfortunately is no longer available. I do apologize for the timing. I'm way behind on stuff, but I figured better late than never. The set was available in August 2021 uh, or September 2021, depending upon your region. I believe that varied a little bit. Uh, free with purchases at lego.com of $200 or 200 euros, which is more, or 200 British pounds, which is even more still. So it had quite a, a high uh, threshold to be able to get this, but there are a lot of pieces in the set itself, 330. And in my personal opinion, just on first glance, it is one of the nicest, if not the nicest of all gifts with purchase, at least to look at ever. This is technically in the Lego Ideas theme because this is based on a fan design that won a small competition through a spinoff of the Lego Ideas program. Not, not Lego Ideas proper, but a little, little contest that they did specifically to come up with the gift with purchase. And this, uh, this is actually very, very similar to that original fans design. Lego did not change too many things. There are some things that are important that were changed with this, but overall the, the soul has been retained here. You can go back and look at the original on, on the ideas platform if you just search this up. But the soul was retained here and most of the building techniques were retained as well. As you can see, it's built on a base to represent water that's just done with some medium azure plates and then they've got little splashes of water represented by one by one clear plates and some some cheese slopes there this has a little bit of interior as well you can actually remove the cabin here as one sub assembly the interior is just well just that just a what do you, what do you call it it's just a table <laughs> i don't think there's even space to really sit a figure on the side you can stand a figure down in there uh, just barely. I think there is one angle that will allow you to stand a single figure below deck. No problem. I mean, it's nicer to have some interior than nothing. And this is fully built up, you know, using regular pieces. It doesn't use specialized stuff to create the hull, which is nice, you know, for a genuine Lego building experience. Lego used one by three and one by four printed tiles. These are relatively simple printed tiles to get that wood texture there, but that's in dark orange, which is kind of kind of fancy looking. You get a couple different colors, at least a couple different colors of gold used through this because there are some drum lacquered pieces and then a bunch of just regular molded pearl gold pieces. Seems like most of the pearl gold here is the, uh, is that, that, that is the newer, the newer of the two pearl golds, but I think this piece here came out looking a little bit different, which even uh, kind of makes these look like the older pearl gold now that I think about it. And this looks like the newer pearl gold because they're still in transition there. Hmm. Yeah, it definitely looks a little bit more like the older pearl gold. That's not, that's not a, an issue with the design. It's just kind of part of the production process. Uh, you got the, the drum lacquer piece right here also. Now let's talk about the sails, shall we? The sails are, are brick built. So you're not going to see them all that well with the white against white. They're brick built. And well, I think they, they, I think they work just fine. I, I uh, again, respect the fact that it's genuine Lego building that's used for these. And this is following the original design. But there are a couple things here that I really, really don't like as someone who has actually sailed boats and who grew up around sailboats. Uh, first of all, the sheet over here, well, that's, that's, that's cool. Uh, it's, it's connected in an okay place. That's this, this line right here. However, the sheet for the front is all wrong. The, this is called the main sail. This is called the jib sail. And this boom back here is supposed to rotate out. It's supposed to be connected at the front and it's supposed to rotate at the back. So it's doing the exact opposite of what it's supposed to do. Now, you don't have to have everything absolutely correct on a, on a, a Lego build, especially one that's using all official proper pieces and proper building techniques. However, the original fan design did have this connected down at the front, had it kind of wrapped around to turn it into the four stay, which is a line that stays in place and forms the leading edge of this sail. And then that, that made a lot more sense. So you could just imagine that the, the boom here is, is just 
you know, it's not able to move and that's okay as a model. But as it is like this, it kind of suggests that, well, this is how boats sail and it is not how they sail. It just bugs me as someone who, again, knows how to sail. But I don't think it takes that much away from this as a, as a model for most folks. However, one thing that definitely does take away from this as a model is how the whole bowsprit assembly was done. That's all of this out here. So technically there should be a line coming up from here. I'm fine with there not being one, but this is much too long for this size of boat, much too long. And how this all goes together here leaves a, a real stress point right here. You can see the bricks are already trying to separate. I've actually worked on trying to get that to stop happening, but it's difficult because bending in the, the flex, which is really nice that these are in gold, but bending these, these flex pipes in, or flex tubes in, always leaves a little bit of pressure in here and it's difficult to get that just right. Most of the time, uh, while I was while I was working on this, it would just kept it would just keep pushing the entire front end off. So I've I've massaged it. I've tried to get it bent just right to hold itself together, and it's almost there, but it's still pushing these pieces a bit apart. I'm having to kind of push that back in. But yeah, all this up here is just a little bit off, and I feel it just detracts from the overall quality. The the hull is built nicely. The cabin is built nicely. Fine with this down here. I'm okay with the sails. Uh, some people much prefer uh, cloth sails. I definitely prefer cloth sails myself. But again, I respect the fact that this is, you know, done all with plastic except for the, the lines here. You know, so it's, it's that traditional building uh, feeling of it all. Tiller is nice. You can turn it side to side and stuff. No... Uh, no studs back here in the the the, uh, the driving area, the cockpit area there, but that's okay because it's nice to get the the prints consistently. You get some studs up here for attaching the feet or legs of of a minifig. That is a sticker, by the way. That's actually a reference to a family member of the the designer, the fan designer of the set, I believe, which is a very nice little touch there and. Uh, I don't know why the anchor is connected off to the side. Well, I do know why the anchor is connected off to the side because you're not able to connect anything in here. Would have been better to just have it on deck though, I think, because this is an awkward place for it. So again, if you if you know boats, some things will bother you about this that won't bother anybody else. And I think that's that's okay. I think it's okay for different people to, you know, like different things or be bugged by different things that others don't care about at all. As a secondary build, there's a little bit more water. As a secondary build, there's a little bit more water and a couple of dolphins that are jumping out of the air. Now this was extra. This is very unnecessary, but very welcome for Lego to put more animals, nice animals, semi-realistic to minifig size and scale and, and style uh, on the market. You know, I really appreciate that they, they did this. These are both in sand blue. They've got a little bit of a base there to keep them into their, their jumping pose like that with a couple of, uh, 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 panels back here that are used to provide some elevation. They put some crystal pieces on here to represent water splashes. It's just nice. Like even this just by itself is a nice little display. Just, just because, I mean, beautiful, dolphins and crystalline waters and splash like that's great finally here are the two minifigures and these are great as well these are very appropriate uh, very nice prints used for both the production work is good uh, okay there's no dual molding for the arms or legs but this was a gift with purchase yeah you had to pay a lot in order to get it at all in the, in the first place but it was still a gift with purchase you don't literally pay for this as part of of your purchase it's completely optional so yeah i mean this could have been this could have been put on the market with just a single figure it could have been put on the market with no figures whatsoever i think either of those options would have been fine so this is all a plus and they're good they're good little regular figures that fit into normal city life sort of stuff no alternate faces for these again no complaints but they look nice also, each one came with a personal flotation device, so that was another nice bonus. These are the spare pieces. I think this is all of them. I may have accidentally dropped one small one by one piece, but I think I got them all. And then the sticker sheet again had two stickers on it, so that was just, you know, on the side 
So yeah, I really can't talk about value since it was a gift with purchase. I know there are some folks who like to take the position that, well, we all pay for these because it's factored into the price. Yeah, but the amount that we actually do pay for these with all of our purchases from, from Lego combined is just you know like fractions, fractions, tiny fractions of a penny uh, over the years. It's all amortized out. Uh, this is this is just an extra you know this is something that lego offers up as as a, a little bonus to make us feel better to make us more frequently purchase from lego.com itself and yes you can get better deals sometimes other places and that's why we all have our cho our own choices uh, when lego puts up these crazy high thresholds for gift with gifts with purchase like there was for this one 200 dollars, 200 euros 200 pounds uk uh we have the option to just not spend that money you know and then we don't get the thing and that's okay we can purchase them on ebay you know when these things first come out usually the prices don't go too too crazy as long as lego produces enough of them so uh, i really personally just don't have any complaints about that uh, when I when I personally want a gift with purchase, if the threshold is so high that I'm not going to be able to get it, then yeah, I can you know feel bad about that. But that's that's a personal thing, and again, I don't uh, I'm not going to fault Lego for that. I'm not, not going to go out on a rant and say, oh, Lego is being evil because corporate greed. They're a company, of course, they're trying to make money. Blah blah blah. The set itself, again, looks fantastic. Uh, it is super charming. Uh, you know, congrats to the fan designer who came up with this. Hopefully the fan designer has been compensated for the design as well, even though this was a gift with purchase. Um, just the, the final product does definitely have some weird issues uh, at the bow. All, all this stuff here is kind of weird. The rest of it is pretty dang cool, pretty dang cool. And I'm rather happy with it. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Again, my apologies for taking so long to get this out there, but I'll talk to you again soon. Bye for now.